Well, good morning again, YouTube. I uh, painted up this headlight. I sanded on it for a long time. You can see from this side that driver side or passenger side not very bright, but over here it's uh, it's really lighting up the bright of the or brightly lighting up the left side of the car. Had a couple dents in it, but it was the dents were pretty much fixed. I haven't really started on this one yet. Well, here's the second headlight bucket. I, I took the uh, the light apart. It was pretty rusty, especially around the outside edge, and it was. Uh, kind of squished out around but I just put a a light coat of this uh, primer paint on it easy care I got this from uh, uh, true value anyway this is semi gloss is supposed to be paint and primer went on pretty good I'm kind of hoping this will cover those uh, 160 sanding grit marks and I'll go to this one sand it up I'm gonna sand this one here on the car mostly then take it off I was trying to do it in my lap but wore my fingers out Took a lot of sanding, but I think it'll be all right. I'll let this uh, dry up a little bit. It looks like it's doing pretty good. So, put one more coat on it, and uh, while this is drying, I'll get the sand. This is how I put that connector in there and I just put a piece of aluminum tape over the over the hole you can see that kind of bent up place that's where the bottom of the thing was crushed it's good enough uh, this is a kind of a rat rod and this is brass it was just polished brass but I sprayed that aluminum paint in there and I think this would be pretty good. I got a little glue on it right there, wiped it with a rag. I think I might just shoot this with another coat when I get ready to put it together. But this is plenty strong. It's uh I was afraid that the glue wouldn't stick to this hard plastic, but it stuck good. And now I can uh, just stick my bulb in there and give it a twist, and we'll be good to go for that. So this reflector is done. Well, here's the second headlight bucket. I uh, took quite a while to get that all sanded down, and all the inside rusted wire brushed and sanded out but uh, here's the second bucket I just got through putting the first coat on it. Here's the first one I put a couple coats on it it's semi-gloss you can see a lot of little tiny uh, pits and stuff in it but this has got two uh, coats on it and it's, I can see a little bit of this 150 grit scratches in it, but it covered it up pretty good. I can go ahead and mock this, uh, this thing up again, put the bulb and stuff in it. Here are the two brass, I believe, and uh, they were nickel plated. 
these are the two tabs that were welded on it. <coughs> this will clamp on the on the thing. I need to clean these two nuts and stuff up here. These acre nuts are actually holding the light into the these brackets on here. So I think what I'm going to do is use a silver paint and paint these two brackets up. Well I've got a couple of these uh, big round turn signals and uh, I ordered two of these and one of them was dropped and broken and I didn't really I didn't think that they would send me another one. They did. They said they were going to send me one and sure enough they they did send one and uh, it's quite a bit bigger and um, it's got a, a glass on it. I don't know how well this will bolt on to the, to the skin, but we'll turn it on. I hooked them both up to the same turn signal. Let's see what they look like. Well, there's both of them. They're both about the same uh, because of the lenses in the and the turn signal is putting. You can see stripes here on the fender. They make a kind of interesting pattern here. It really is uh, quite bright here to the left. So I don't know what, uh, how I should do this. This big one is actually quite a bit brighter. It's got an LED bulb in it. I'm going to turn this flasher off and see what it looks like. Well, you know, this is a kind of a nice shiny chrome thing here. And uh, this is more of a cheap old mount or backing. But I can put two, two bolts in it. I probably ought to cut me a little piece of rubber or something to fit in there. I just don't know whether I should use this nice one here or put this one on. This uh, big one is a lot brighter and it sticks out. Oh, this is probably three inches tall, so it's kind of sticks out instead of this half inch. It's pretty much flush. I don't know. Maybe you could let me know. What do you think? We ought to go with that little turn signal or take this big beehive one and stick it on there. I think I'll I'll stick it in. Stick a couple of bolts on it to hold it in place of the bottom one. And then uh, I'll use the emergency flashers. So the flash, both of them. See what you think. Well, here's both of them going. This one here, it's uh, putting a lot of light on the back of the car. You know, kind of putting a starburst on it. And this one just a straight light. So I kind of, 
you know it's not as as pretty of a chrome thing on it. You can see from this side that driver side or the passenger side not very bright. But over here it's uh it's really lighting up the bright of the or brightly lighting up the left side of the car. Oh even though it's not as pretty it's really putting a a big yellow light on it. And this one just uh, kind of just straightly pointing out and this one you can see it oh you know it's 20 30 times more visible don't know what it'll look like with the uh, tail lights oh you can still see the tail lights brightly over that It's definitely a super noticeable turn signal. I was going to put it on the front, but it's a super good in back. Probably doesn't need to be that big. And these two are. Uh, kind of calm looking I think it might look better on the front because that will definitely make a big difference in the front turn signals are better I mean the front ones the car is going to be able to see and you're going to be turning in front of somebody so on the back you know you're not going to hit be hit from the back but you could be hit from the front even though I like these little turn signals and I put quite a bit of work in them making those brackets I may just take Take one of these big ones and see if I can stick it on the front and see what that looks like. Well, here's the one on the front. It's good, man. It's lighting up the part of the radiator ground here. Let me turn off the lights and see what it looks like. Yeah, here's the, what this looks like. Compared to this little weak one right here, it's hard to even see it, but you definitely can can see the uh, see the front turn signal, and uh, much much brighter than what it was and of course the front turn signal is better so I'm going to take out this little back one or this uh, big back one and put that little one in it and see what it looks like well here's the front combination and here's the rear combination these LEDs are a little brighter, but uh, they're not much different. This one is brighter, of course. This one I don't have the tin foil in it, but it'll be a little brighter. And it's good enough for the for the tail light. It actually is a little better. It's not overwhelming. And I can still see it a little bit on the sides. I'll have to center this up a little. But that don't look bad. And I can still use this uh, 
little fancy till I well, I put both of these on and uh, they're plenty bright good for the front those little uh, plate mounting plates I made are don't look too bad so both of these are working good it's on the four ways right now the little, uh, blue ones are working good there's one of the, the others I had to, my flashers kind of heavy duty so I had to hook another bulb in it but uh, that's pretty bright this is good enough I don't have my tin foil in there which will make it a little brighter but these will be good well there's both of them on like I said they're not real bright but they're good enough for uh, turn signals I think I'll get brighter bulbs and I can put a a little better reflector in there than what I got but uh, kind of got the cat's eye look to them they're on fairly straight there's a little gap in the back but hey you know it's a rat rod this is uh, about as good as I can get it without trying to French those things in and I really don't want to go to all that trouble and uh, of course the front ones are plenty bright I showed you this before but these really uh, light up the front end and the grill and I'll have aluminum mesh in there and that'll shine and they're out far enough that they're lighting up the ground in front so these are plenty good for turn signals or flash or hazard. Well, I cleaned up my uh, headlight clamps here and sprayed them with a little of that uh, chromey stuff. That looks pretty good. And they're going to match the headlight buckets. They're dry now. That's good. I'll paint them again eventually. But for now, just to mock it up, that's all good. My rings are not bad. I have to get some bolts for that. But I can move forward on mounting these up on the fender and uh, put my uh, reflectors and light bulbs in them. Well, there's my headlight. I, uh, opened the garage door up and ran it out there tonight uh, this thing is really bright and it's uh, it's not focused <coughs> I mean it lights up the whole road both sides of it um, I may have to change these bulbs but uh, it looks good there I've got both of the headlights done I didn't put the trim ring on them yet but the uh, headlights plenty bright I've got it set you know it's really just lighting up the ground right in front of the car and the high beam is up there in the top this uh, this lens here on top you can see it's right uh, where the old bulb was up in the top but this is kind of focusing the thing but both headlight buckets are good I just have to put the, the chrome on them and I'll go ahead and do the other one here I'll probably just throw this whole fender on there and put the other one it'll be easy to 
to do the wires and uh, but that's a fairly easy thing to do I just got a couple bolts there and then I can make this crossbar across the headlights but this came today this is a piece of uh, quarter inch plexiglass and that's going to be my windshield so it's pretty big uh, looks like it's in good shape I haven't opened it up or anything but I'll take my uh, put my window frame up in there I've got it laying back there against the wall uh, I don't know if I'll make a I may just use this cardboard here to make a, a template for the windshield out of cardboard make sure that fits all right and then cut up my plexiglass so this will be the next little project coming up I've got quite a bit of content fooling around with these turn signals and headlights and stuff so I'll end this video here thanks a lot for watching guys come back here and next video or so I'll I'll start working on this windshield and we'll see how that goes.